This note is about a meeting with Lord Mortimer. There's no doubt about it. Jack of all trades. Did I just get rewarded for... Yep. In 10% more experience at the end of quests because we got every skill finally. That's a good thing to knock out early. Is there something I got for learning... No. I thought getting five... I thought getting level two of all of our main stuff might help us out, but no. Maybe level three. All right, I need to find out where the sword that came with it's from in order to find mother. Ooh, they gave me six effort points. That's nice. You're choking, I hope. Don't tell me you've done that. Really? How do you expect me to guess? Oh, for God's sake, just ask them. We must absolutely inform Sir Gregory. How long has he been trying to collect all the spears? I must have brought him the first one 20 odd years ago. Do you know if he has managed to get the original? Well, in any case, he's got all the ones we had at the Vatican. He made me replace them with copies, but I don't understand your reaction. I'm sure it is nothing serious. Uh -huh. I can see very well you do not understand. You have done nothing less than sign our death warrants, and still you don't understand. I... Someone is listening. What? Monsieur de Richet, why not join us rather than find yourself eavesdropping? Well, I, I, I didn't want to interrupt you. I, I'm sorry. Of course you didn't. So, my son, what can we do for you? I didn't mean to spy on you, but you caught my attention. Have you brought spears as well, then? What? Did Mortimer ask you to bring him holy spears too? Yes, but I thought I was the only one. How many of them have you brought, then? Eighteen, you know. Any relic even remotely to do with them, in fact. Eighteen spears? How many of them exist in all? No one knows. Especially as there is only one authentic one, of course. That all adds to the mystery, don't you think? Well, uh, please leave us, monsieur. His eminence and I wish to finish our discussion alone. He could not have eavesdropped in a more awkward way. He just fucking walked right up to them. He was kind of around the corner at first. You couldn't hear them over there? You seem like you could, or at least I as the player could hear them super clearly. The current goal is to find... Nope. Mortimer's collecting spears, but using manipulation gave me a little chance to exploit this that <laughs> that poor priest for the like hundredth time, which always gives us more resources. That was one of the main takeaways is just getting a chance because I don't know if the spears will be important or not. It's hard to tell which parts of the conspiracy Illuminati, Illuminati stuff is going to be important stuff for the main story, or just like, ooh, isn't he mysterious and Illuminati? -y? <laughs> but uh, the chance to do the exploit like that uh, definitely leads to a moment where you just get to have another point. See, the origin of the sword for my mother. It was apparently outside, so I guess I should go out the front door. Try that. They just have wildly unappealing portraits around here. Just everywhere. Mr. Washington, how do you do today? The song of Roland. Roland feeleth his death is near, his brain is oozing by either ear. With his brain oozing, it's already remarkable that he can feel anything. Mr. Washington, fancy running into you here. Is everything all right, my young friend? Mr. President, you might be able to help me. I'd like to know where that sword comes from. Any idea? Hmm. It reminds me of the statues in the garden. I can't guarantee it, but you ought to go and see. You never know, do you? Thank you, Mr. President. You're quite welcome. See you soon. 
I seem to think that he is to be trusted, but we'll see if we lear learn not to think that at some point. The forecourt dining hall library. Have I been to the garden? There's the balcony. Because this is just the pier. Hmm. Can I grab that book? Nope. I can't remember if I've actually been to the garden or not. I feel like I just went straight from the pier to he- Oh my goodness, this room is absurd. Huh. I feel like I went straight from the pier to the house with no in-between. So maybe I still have a chance to explore the garden for the first time. In fact, maybe the garden wasn't built yet in the, when they were making episode one, and that's why you skip past it. I kind of suspect that maybe the garden wasn't built yet in a similar way that I think maybe Mortimer wasn't modeled yet, because they mysteri- they, I, think, I think they kept him off camera like he was the, like, what, Dr. Claw, the villain of Inspector Gadget, you, that you mysteriously don't, is always in shadows? Let's give it a go. Lord Mortimer certainly has a taste for staging rooms. Okay, never mind. Um, yeah, hello again. How do I get to the garden? What can I do for you, sir? I am at your service, day and night, sir. What is outside on the island, exactly? Lord Mortimer has made a point of keeping the main part of the island in its natural state, sir. For security reasons, only the wharves and the gardens are accessible to guests. If Sir would like to walk along the wharves, he has only to follow the pathway used upon his arrival. If he would like to walk in the interior gardens of the manor, I would advise Sir to pass through the portrait gallery. May I help Sir in any other way? The portrait gallery. That's where I was just talking to... That's where I was just talking to Washington. It was literally that room. So when they cut to- when they looked at the window a little bit, that was supposed to be my cue to walk over there? I've never been to the garden. Maybe the door was locked before? Cause I feel like I would have tried the door, but I don't- I don't know. Let's go explore a place for the first time, shall we? Couldn't make the stair- the, uh, the, the platform a full circle, huh? Gotta go the long way around, even though there are books over there. You think you'd want to have a, uh, you think you'd want to have a walkway over there where there's even more books, but... No, wait- wait, how do you get over there? Wait, 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 how do you get to those books? There's ladders everywhere, but the ladders slide... Don't these ladders slide in a circle? No, they do not. Those are just wooden ladders that just sit there. You just put them wherever you feel like. That makes it all the more precarious. There's nothing to put them on. So like, you can climb up to there, but then what? How do you get up there? There's no platforms un on the midpoint there to put ladders on. And I don't think it's safe to put a ladder on that tiny little piece sticking out, but I think that's the best you can do. But then you'd have to climb up that ladder while carrying another ladder? Wait, but down, down there, the platforms are full circles. Why is this the only platform that isn't a full circle? They just want you to run the full, they, 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 just, they just wanted you to go around the long way? This is the only floor that's like that. It's just a weird blind spot in the, in the library. That and that top circle up there looks completely inaccessible also. Huh. Weird. I guess if you want a certain book, you're just gonna have to grab another book and throw it at that book really hard, and it'll knock it out of the shelf, and then you have to go downstairs and catch it. Aha! Uh -huh. External. The sword probably came from this garden, but what could it have been used for? Outside, in daylight, for the first time besides the balcony, I suppose?
You might have had a sword. Nope. Probably not. Ariadne. In Greek mythology, she helped Theseus get through the labyrinth. Hmm. Looks like there's a crack in the region of the heart. I guide this sword that would kill the monster. I guide the sword that will kill them. Oh wait, that's just a sword-shaped hole in front of her? Let's see. A crack as long as my finger. That might be it. I want to poke around a little bit more though. Before I just solve it outright. Oh hey, it's that guy. He'd be he would be in line of sight when we did it. That seems like not the best plan. Here's the famous Ariana's thread, thanks to which, if I remember rightly, Theseus avoided getting lost in the labyrinth. Right. Oh, right, that's what that's from. The labyrinth thread. It was tied to him as he went through. So maybe I should follow the thread, I suppose. Hey, asshole. Well, Monsieur de Richet, what brings you here? What's his weakness again? I need to remind myself of this character. Uh, his name is... Uh... Jacques Perrault. He's vulnerable to etiquette. Nothing else is known about him. A little expensive. Tell the truth, I was wondering the same thing about you. It's rare for guests to wander about in the garden. I wanted to be alone for five minutes. You look worried. Worried? No. Resolved would be a more exact term. Resolved to do what? What's the point in answering? You wouldn't believe me anyway. I'll be leaving now because whatever it is you're up to, I do not want to know. Be seeing you. Uh, is it his eye? Tell me, aren't you even curious? Curiosity killed a cat, Monsieur de Richet. I admit, I may have judged you wrongly. Watching you seek out Mortimer's little secrets might even be amusing if I didn't already know the consequences. See you later. What scares you so much? Don't mess with him, monsieur. If he offers his help, refuse it. Keep your freedom and get far away from here while you still can. That was unusual. I had one of those click on the thing moments, but I think the eye was the only option. Usually there's a secondary option for me to be distracted by and during the time limit, and then I fail, usually. Or I have failed repeatedly at the very least. We've got another trait. Is it interrogator? One point in psychology. Nice. Ooh, it's about to level up now. I don't think I had a book on psychology, though, so I couldn't really buff that up. Oh my god, I can't pick it up. That's what it's come to. I've got a backlog on jelly. Book! Pick it up, pick it up! Aww. Not a good type of book. Golden elixir. Ooh. Except I couldn't use it. Shit. Aww. I used an effort to find an item that I can't pick up. Well, maybe it'll stay there forever now? I probably have access to this place for the rest of the game. Like, and, that, and this is episode 205. Not entirely convinced I want to use the sword yet. Yes. Memoir to Academy. That's a long one. Yep. Linguistics. 
And then a bunch of books I don't care about, apparently. I wonder how he picks out which ones to care about. Can I fit? No. And there's stuff back there, too. Icarus. The son of Daedalus and no crate. Impossible to mistake him with those wings. After flying too close to the sun, they came unstuck and he fell to his death. <laughs> Pity. If I remember rightly, Icarus was the son of Daedalus. He found himself confined to the labyrinth with his father after his father betrayed Minos. And his father's plan to escape from the labyrinth wasn't any more successful. Man, that kid was jinxed. Well, let's keep going. That's the only one I'm getting for free. We'll see if I need to come back or not. Ooh, another coin. That, take, that takes us to 30. Do I get a... No, I don't unlock, unlock a trait for getting 30 of them. Well, the way they do collectibles, I basically want to check every single dead end I can. Great. Oh, look Honey. at me fill up. Minos. Son of Zeus in Europa. If I remember correctly, he was the king of Crete. Married to Pasiphae, he had many children, including the famous Ariadne, whom history remembers for her thread. Hey, there's a crack in that statue. His gesture sealed his fate. The crack is in the region of the heart. Okay, so that's what we're going for. You stab... it's like you're choosing who to kill? You're stabbing one of the... one of these characters in the heart. Theseus. Son of Aegeus. He's the one who slayed the Minotaur. I seem to recall he took the decision to confront the Minotaur. He killed the beast, but if it weren't for Ariadne's help, he would have been trapped in that labyrinth forever. In short, Yet another hero who wasn't the sharpest knife in the drawer. Okay, okay, I'm, I'm probably being a bit harsh. I mean, we do owe him the foundations of Athens. In other words, the Republic. Render therefore unto Caesar what is Caesar's. Looks like a crack has been made on his torso. I wonder if Mother managed to solve this enigma. I'm wondering if one of these statues is of the Minotaur. Oh, is that the Minotaur? The Minotaur that has the crack in his chest? Seems like stabbing him in the heart would be the way to go. Asterion. It is rare to see him like this. In general, he's represented with the head of a bull, with the features of the Minotaur. The famous son of Minos and Pasiphae. Asterion was a son of Pasiphae and Minos, or rather the result of a curse put on Minos. Minos was punished for betraying Poseidon. Of course, as strangely it often happens, it wasn't he who was punished, it was his wife. She had to mate with a bull, no less. From that union, Asterion was born, who everyone knows as the famous Minotaur. Rejected by Minos, he was shut up in the labyrinth so he could never leave. And, as if that wasn't bad enough, he died by the hand of a hero, desperate to restore his reputation. Technically, Asterion is the victim of the story because he's described as a child cast out from birth. Born from an extramarital union because of the errors of his father, he was treated as an outcast all his life. And he died as innocently as he was born. A tragic story, as the Greeks knew how to do so well. The statue has a crack in it. Let's go. 
Alright, well, thought maybe that it would f f shed a little light, but I spent three effort just being told about the concept of a Greek tragedy, basically. Like water will give me a little reprieve. Yes. The subtitles are starting to not match what they say out loud really frequently now. There's still more maze to look around in. Although I'm, st I'm betting on the idea of stab the Minotaur, as per the legend. If only he- if only our character was brave enough to step over benches. Daedalus. He's the architect of the labyrinth. And if I'm not mistaken, he's also the father of Icarus. Architect and genius inventor. He built the labyrinth for Minos to imprison the Minotaur. I seem to recall that he told Ariadne how to get out of the labyrinth by tying a thread to himself. So, Theseus managed to exit the labyrinth without trouble once the beast was dead. And when Minos found him, he threw him into his own labyrinth along with his son Icarus. Every action causes a reaction. So he and his son were punished for the death of, of Minos. Oh, there are a lot of options in here. Coin. We're up to 31. Can you reach the gazebo? That's kind of what I want to do. Carmelite water. They say that if you drink this, it gives you a real boost. We are just stocking up, aren't we? I've already checked around here, right? With this table. Yes, I got a book off of here. I remember that now. I'd like to get to the heart of the labyrinth. There's an item in there. I don't see any exits on that side. But I think it has to be over here. I'm trying I'm trying to look at the actual borders of the hedges now. That's the way in. Oh, that side maybe? There it is. Wow, two golden elixirs I can't pick up. I wonder what this kiosk is doing in the middle of the garden. Too cramped to be able to do much. Well, there must be something going on there. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Truth unlocks all possibilities. It's up to the just to deliver judgment. Am I supposed to, am I supposed to, instead of do what happens in the story, uh, judge the situation? Go after the person who deserves to die instead? Okay, with the earth symbol. I think I've already opened the earth chest, though. Wasn't the earth chest the one that was, maybe not. I thought the, I thought the earth chest was the one that was in the room we can't go back into from the beginning of the episode. Huh. I imagine the thread just goes to the character that used the thread, right? Or are you, is it on you? Is it on... Ugh. Is the thread on you? No. 
I just walked through the hedges. Wait, was I always able to walk through the... No. <laughs> oh, for a moment there I thought I like broke... I, like, I, thought I, I thought I sequence broke or something. Like I was like, oh my god, I broke the game. The hedges aren't solid. You can just go through them. Because they're hedges. I did not expect that. Oh man, I wonder if there's a chunk of the maze you can't reach on foot via the head, the maze. And you can only get it by walking through the walls. Huh. Have I... talked to you already? Not talked to you, but... Pasiphae. Daughter of Perseus and sister of Circe. She married Minos and became the queen of Crete. I seem to recall that her fate was not something you'd want. She was punished for the sins of her husband. She had to mate with the sacred bull of Poseidon. Nine months later, she gave birth to Asterion, better known as the Minotaur. <laughs> it's crazy to see to what extent women have always been mistreated. When they're not harpies, gorgons, and other witches, they become victims. All right, well, let's continue anyways. Well, the plaque asks me to judge someone. Let's see, that character is framed as heroic, victim, victim, heroic, and then, yeah, you're a victim, you're a victim. So it seems like we should be judging Minos. Minos. Crack is in the region of the heart. Oh, we had a thump. Oh, am I not supposed to be able to go through these? It stopped. So that okay, so I, I wasn't stupid. You actually aren't supposed to go through them, but I could for a while. Weird. What is that? Looks like a sort of opening mechanism. Knowing Mortimer, I bet it's booby trapped. There's a little hole at the fingers. I'm pretty sure if I get it wrong, I'll, I'll get pricked. Damn you, Mortimer. Reminds me of traps I studied in Egyptian tombs. Concerning blood streak down there. Analytical. Do -do -do -do. Plus one point in logic. Nice. It's getting up there, right? Where's logic? That's the that's the chess piece. Okay. Alright. Also, his hand didn't fit that at all. Like his hand was like a different shape and size entirely, it seemed. It seems like you could just press that button in a way where you don't touch the parts where you get pricked. I doubt it, it's literally like a fingerprint sensor or anything. And there is smeared blood down there. What a good sign. Ah! Whoa. Again? I... You can't be serious, Manuel. You know that's not going to happen. You must leave me alone now. I have agreed to everything. Even to- Agreed? I wasn't aware you had a choice. What's going on here? I... What now? What else must I do to win back my freedom? Obey me. Now get out! Oh, 
What was that? That's the third time in three days. See if you're you're in there, mother. You may want to start carrying around a hanky with all the blood you're leaving everywhere. Amber crystals. Ooh. We're just stocking up on those points, aren't we? Nice. God damn, this guy has an expensive house. Bandages? Hmm. Someone's been patching themselves up. Looks like my mother took advantage of being in hiding to change her bandages, huh? This is silk. She must have used her own clothes. Didn't we see her with, like, her hand missing or something? These bandages are pretty basic. She'll be lucky if she doesn't get an infection. Notice something with our vigilance points. No. Not right now. I think I'll take the free option when I can. Uh. Is that a generic? Is that one of the just one of the servants or is that the bitchy dude? I think it's just his normal servant. Move! Wait, I'm not armed. Who are you? Good God, Mother, what have you- Tell me who you are! Huh. Well, I found our mother, and another death. Or actually, that's the first death, isn't it? No, no, the uh, twin sister's probably dead, maybe. Episode 2, The Maze. Which are chapter 7, The Maze. I eavesdropped on the conversation between Piaggi and Volner. I convinced Piaggi to reveal some important information to me. I inspired Peru to trust me. I succeeded in opening the entrance of the crypt without getting the statue wrong. I found my mother in the crypt. Huh. And she's freaking out. Go, go, go. Yeah, we made it. I didn't know if we'd make it or not. That's some surprisingly back-to-back -back leveling up there. The pacing is weird from level up to level up. All right. We have... Right, leveling up gives you three points, but I think I unlocked something that gives you an extra point per level up or something. It was somewhere in here, I think. I have no idea which one it is. Or maybe it's not one of these? Hmm. Four points to spend. Psychology is that close to leveling up, so why not? I do kind of want to go even deeper into these. But some of these are so close to hitting level two. I might want to just pick one and commit to it. I figure I already have psychology, so I might as well max- I might as well go for one of the ones in this tree, because I've, I've done this entire bottom one. But it, uh, spreading them out a little bit's probably a good idea. Let's do diversion. There we go. Oh, there we go. That's the end of episode two already. 
That was brief. Huh. So episode one had tons of setup and an investigation and going all over the place and meeting a bunch of a bunch of characters and going from chapter to chapter and it felt relatively full bodied and everything. And then I ended with this big choice of like, do you go with Elizabeth or not? And how do you treat Elizabeth and so on? Uh, this one started with resolving the outcome of that. Like, hey, Elizabeth's missing. Was it you? Did you kill her or do you know where she is? And then you follow, or, and then you just do some, you do some puzzles, and then you basically accomplish the goal of the first chapter. Like for episode one, set up this goal of find your mother that never, we never really made progress on, but this episode, hey, we found our mother, and then cliffhanger. But like, that was like the whole story. We did a couple of puzzles, found our mother, and here we are. And there was almost no interaction with any characters, really. Uh, we had, like, lengthy conversation with almost every character, it seemed, in the previous one, or even confrontations with them. And this one, for example, Emma, or Emily, or whatever, the, the, the two similar names are so frustrating. Uh, like, we had, like, f I feel like we had, like, five scenes with her last game. And in this, in this episode, we had one half of a... My, we had the option to stop by to talk to her for a second and move on Huh I don't know this one this episode felt weirdly slight compared to the first one But oh well, uh, we'll see where it goes uh, Hopefully we'll see if the things pick up in in the following episodes. We've at least unlocked more of the mansion and I imagine with uh once they unlock all the chunks of the mansion, at some point you kind of have to commit to a bunch of story happening, right? Because you can't keep relying on new uh, places showing up. Either way, I'll play the episodes as they come out. Thanks for watching, like always, guys, and I will see you next time.